Everything that we buy, all of our consumer goods in 2023, continue to come at an inflated price. Not sure when this is gonna end, but let's just face it, it doesn't matter if you are filling the refrigerator, taking the kids out to eat, buying something to wear, or even putting gas in your car, you feel the pain. Now, as we go through this year, if we can't find ways to combat the inflation, one thing we can do is try to find ways to save money in places that we may not think of. In this video, I wanna share with you three ways that homeowners can save money on their mortgage without refinancing. Before we jump into any of that, do me a favor, show your boy some love if you find any value in this video and hit that thumbs up. And if you've been here before, first, welcome back. But do me a favor, consider subscribing, following along, and uh, I promise to do my best to give you guys some pretty decent content. With that said, if you have a mortgage, if you are a homeowner, and you are looking to save some money, these options might help you. And the first option or thing to consider is if you haven't appealed your property taxes, consider appealing your property taxes. This is done at a county level and usually uh, is done for a, a small fee. You simply fill out a form, come prepared and um, ready to have a conversation on why you feel as though your taxes are high. You might wanna contact your, your local realtors and find out if they can give you some information that would be of value. And by information, I'm referring to other comparable properties that might have a lower tax bracket than you. Uh, and if you are successful and they do appeal the taxes, that is a way to save money on a monthly basis since most of us who have a mortgage pay our, uh, pay our taxes in our mortgage, so it's paid on a monthly basis. And if it's not paid on a monthly basis, either way, you still have to pay it on a yearly basis. So having them reduced could be a way to save some money right off the bat. Now, this next one probably sounds so common, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do this or take advantage of shopping around their homeowner's insurance. You should make it a practice or get in the habit of shopping around your homeowner's insurance. But for the sake of this conversation, shopping around your insurance could save you, well, I mean, to be honest, I've actually saved a lot of money uh, just by making sure that one, I had the right type of policy and premiums and that I was shopping it around to get the best price possible. So if you haven't shopped around your homeowner's insurance, Now's the time to do so. You'll be surprised how much money you could possibly save. All right, so this next one, uh, or this last one I should say, is where most of the savings will come from. And I don't wanna rain on your parade, but unfortunately, this is not going to apply to everyone, but it's gonna apply to a lot of people. If you have a mortgage and you have mortgage insurance, whether it be MIP or PMI, and if you don't know the difference, I've done videos on them as well, uh, but if, if you have mortgage insurance, consider reaching out to your servicer and finding out if that mortgage insurance can be removed. Now, there are some things to take into consideration. And one of the biggest things to consider or think about is that the mortgage has to be at least two years old. The origination of the mortgage has to be at least two years old. So if you bought a home uh, in the beginning of 2021, January 2021, then you might be in position now, I do emphasize might, uh, to have that mortgage insurance removed. Another caveat is that you need to have some equity. Now, the good thing is the market has performed so well over the last few years for homeowners and equity has just gone through the roof that believe it or not, people who have owned their home for a short period of time very well may have enough equity um, to meet that 20% benchmark. And if you do, and, you've, and the mortgage is at least two years old, then there's a really good chance you can have that mortgage insurance removed. As I mentioned, this isn't gonna apply to everyone. If you took out an FHA mortgage and that mortgage was originated on or after June 3rd of 2013, well, unfortunately, the way those loans are written now, uh, mortgage insurance is, is not forgivable. It, it is there for the life of the loan, so you would need to refinance the loan in order to have it removed. But pretty much everyone else if you have mortgage insurance and you meet the criteria that I just mentioned, you very well could have your mortgage insurance removed and that could save you hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on a yearly basis. So it's really, really worth it to check into that. Now, those are things that you can do from um, either a tax perspective or insurance, 
Uh, but another thing to do, especially here in a northeastern section of the country where it gets really, really cold during the winter, make sure that your, your house is properly weatherized. Make sure that if there are windows that are drafty, even if you're not replacing them, see if there's anything that you can do, whether it be putting plastic wrap over the windows or finding another way to insulate them. Um, if there are drafty areas in the basement, maybe closing any holes with spray foam insulation and making sure that your heater is cleaned and functioning properly because these are all things that will save you money on a monthly basis. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Um, let me know if there's something else that you can think of or something you've done uh, that has helped you save money. Let me know in the comments. And with all of that said, I'm Chris Nelson, local realtor with Genstone Realty here in the uh, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania area. If I can do anything to be of value to you or someone you know, let me know. Oh, and uh, buyer guide is always available. Feel free to download it. Uh, there's also a seller guide for you to download. Links are in the description. Till next time.